Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can set up our own local Modbus TCP server using ModSim software. Now in this video, we are going to do the same but with the different software. So previously, we have used ModSim software to set up our local Modbus TCP server. Now in this video, we are going to use Modbus Slave software to set up our local Modbus TCP server. And we can test our local Modbus TCP server using ModScan32 software. Okay, you can also test your local Modbus TCP server with any of this SCADA system. It's depend upon your choice where you want to test. But in this video, we are going to test with the Morscan software. So you can navigate to this website, morbustools.com and you can go to download section. And in the download section, scroll down and you will find Modbus slave software. Either you can download for 32 bit of operating system and either you can download for 64 bit of operating system based on your operating system okay i have already downloaded and installed modbus slave in my system so let's open modbus slave here after that which type of modbus tcp server you want to create you have to specify okay suppose i want to create a modbus tcp server with n number of holding register with the slave id 1 so i can create that kind of modbus tcp server so suppose i want to create a modbus tcp server with the slave id 1 and uh, holding register count 10 so i can go to setup i can go to slave definition and in the slave id i can write 1 in the function, I can write 3 for holding register and I want 10 holding register. So, I'll choose the quantity 10 and then I'll press OK here. And you can see here there is no connection because our server, Modbus TCP server is not up and running. So, we have to make it up and running. So, we have to go to connection. We have to click on connect. And instead of serial port, we have to use Modbus TCP IP connection. Okay. And this is the IP address. This is the port number 502 which is standard for Morbus and we will tick this checkbox ignore unit ID. So our client can enter any unit ID but they will connect to the same Morbus TCP server. So once I press OK you will not see this warning no connection. OK so if I press OK here you can see warning is gone and you will see this Windows security alert that this software want to access your private network such as home or work network so we have to allow this and we have to press on allow access okay after that i want to test this server so i'll open my morescan32 software here and you can see my Morbus slave software has run the Morbus TCP server with the function code 3, I mean holding register. And number of holding register I have is 10 and slave ID is 1. So I have to enter slave ID 1 here. And instead of coil status, I have to select holding register. And how much holding register I have in my Morbus TCP server? It's a 10. So I have to reduce length from 100 to 10. And then I have to go to connection. I have to click on connect and here i have to specify ip address 127.0.0.1 because our local modbus tcp server is running in my local system so i have to provide the local host ip address here and i have to provide this service port which is 502 standard for modbus communication and i'll press ok here so you can see the warning is gone that device not connected because our device is now connected you can see number of poles 8 9 and valid response receive is same because our more scan is trying to communicate with our local morbus tcp server and it's asking data from local morbus tcp server and it's getting data so valid slave response is same as number of poles okay let me reset controls here now i want to uh, set this register value as an auto increment so i need to double click and I have to set auto increment and then I will press OK. So as you can see, the value is updating here. Also, the value is updating in our client. So our client is Morscan32 software and our server is Morbus slave. Now also, I can update value of any holding register from my client as well. Okay, so if you are connecting your Morbus slave software with any SCADA system, then also you can update this holding register values from your SCADA system. Okay, so let me try this. So 
instead of SCADA system, we are going to use this Morescan32 client software to update the values. So if I want to update 40,006 to 33, and if I click on update, you can see the value is updating here. So here 0 corresponds to 40,001 and 40,010 corresponds to 9. Okay, so that is why 40,006 corresponds to 5 here. Okay, so I hope this hmm, mapping is clear to you. So this is how you can create your own local Morbus TCP server with the help of Morbus Slave software. You can download Morbus Slave software from this website morbustools.com. I'll provide link of this website in the description of this video. You can go there, you can go to download section and you can download Morbus Slave software for your application. Okay, so I hope this is clear and let me disconnect and let me also shut down my Modbus TCP server. Okay, so I hope everything is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can ask me on the comment section. You can also ask me on the Telegram, Instagram or WhatsApp. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.